I would like also for him to be removed from civilization where he would never hurt another child, where he can have the solitude to think about what he has done to my son. And I would also like a formal apology from him. This defendant, quite simply, the court needs to look at whether or not this defendant has any rehabilitative potential. And I submit to the court there is absolutely none. He has a history of failed treatment. He is in complete and utter denial about what he has done to the victim in this case. When he was asked about this conviction, he stated, I am absolutely not guilty. He described the victim in this case as a skilled actor. And when asked of his mother, he indicated that he didn't know her from a hole in the wall. Any type of a treatment process. Would indicate to you that he performed his priestly duties well. He ministered to the sick. He comforted the afflicted. He performed the rites and rituals of the Roman Catholic Church. He was, by many accounts, an excellent priest who, for the last five years, has been in ill health itself and to whom he has been. Guidelines which are in effect because of the date of this offense, it will be six years. The court is certainly not unaware of the continuing publicity, controversy, and public discourse surrounding the issue of sexual abuse of violence by priests. But this defendant is not going to be punished for other priests or for what the church may or may not have done. The court specifically states that the sentences imposed today on the defendant is for his conduct, for his actions, for his character issues, and for his situation. And it's in no way, and I state this unequivocally, it is in no way an emotional response by this court. John J. Dayton, please rise on indictment number 9919566, indictment 001. You will hack into the sentence the court has ordered against you. The court having duly considered your offense, ordered you punished by confinement to Massachusetts State's prison for a term of not more than 10 years, nor less than nine years. Six years of this sentence is to be served. The balance is suspended for the rest of your life. And it's further ordered by the court that following your release, you be placed on lifetime probation.